throw. That shit gonna go crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, Mace was supposed to come on the show. He sent me yo know, flight information and all that shit, but I don't know. I think I think there's a there's a pressure certain people feel like that they're gonna be under when they come on the show, and and it's and it's really not like that. We just look for answers. No, I got you. Hey, like you heard about um the Breakfast Club? They they basically ended. Um, from what I understand, it's not. It might not be the same people. But it might still still exist. I don't know. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to Charlamagne. Shout out to Envy. Shout out to to Angela Yee. They they gave us moments throughout throughout the decade that was so stupid. Why is it ending? Why is it ending? Is it a money thing? Paint, uh, I have no idea, bro. I, I ain't in niggas' pockets. <laughs> hey, but we had a discussion no, earlier. Is it a time period? You know what I mean, I'm listen, man. We in a shop in Harlem. We ain't got no networks tied to us. We we ain't, ain't no sponsors putting pressure on us to not talk a certain way. Like, bro, we 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 just niggas just show up to the barber shop and talk, bro. You know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody tying our hands. Yo, you can't see this, this, and the third. We have respect for people. You know what I mean? We ain't trying to be out there. You know, uh, clout chasing. And I, I fuck with this type, definitely for the clout chase. I love that shit. But we ain't we ain't clout chasing or nothing like that. We just having real conversations you know what i'm saying if a conversation might you know offend somebody yeah i would hope that they they look at it like yo let me go over here and explain myself like people have in the past rather than sit back and be like oh these niggas got it twisted whatever whatever you know what i mean but yeah. as far as like uh i don't know what's going on in those buildings i really don't I have no idea. We had a discussion though earlier, and we basically was like naming some different names, and your name had came up in uh, Queens Flip. Like if they offered um, you that position to come up there on um, some sort of morning show, like Power One Hundred Six, would you do it? Um, nah, bro. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to wake up in the morning and and talk to people that somebody <laughs> talk to. Like even even for my show. <laughs> That's real. Nobody That's comes on my show before I have a conversation with them. It's rare. It's very rare that somebody walks in that shop that I ain't had a conversation with before because I got to decide, yo, do I want to sit across from this person for three hours? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if I don't want to, I'm not going to do it. Simple as that. And I know, you know what those they set up shit. that you got a boss that's going to tell you, yo, this person got to come on the show and yo, you got to talk to this person. Nah, man, I don't want to do that shit. So I'm good. Hey, when you when you interviewing someone like Five Mics and then like Twenty One Savage, mm -hmm. like do you go in with a different approach or it's the same? It's always the same, bro. It's about the story, most of all. And I know people look at it like you got Fat Joe, you got this person, you got that person. But when you call, when you think about the level of fame for everybody. It's not balanced. We not running for like, yo, we only want the top dogs. We all, you know what I mean? And there's only like maybe 20 niggas in rotation in all the podcasts. Nah, bro. Nah. If I, like, um, shout out to Mike Geronimo. Hopefully we get him on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? He might not be uh, 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 what people consider popular enough for other podcasts, but there's a story there that I'm interested in. You know what I mean? And if I take an interest to it, then you know somebody else might take an interest to it. Like I'm not, I'm not chasing the views. I'm not chasing the attention. Like yo, this person got mad followers. Get them on here. Nah, it's the story. You know what I mean? When I when I first shout out to Nicki Jam, who's my bro, one of the biggest artists in the world. I had no clue, but once I talked to him and I learned about his story, I had to. I had to. Uh, we had to shoot an episode. You know what I mean? Got you. And like, like back to the battle rap though. Like Loaded Lux, that was a, a, a 